Hello, welcome to Arts in the Time of COVID. I'm Nina Guerin, and today is Thursday, April 22nd. This week, the Museum of Man in Balboa Park reopened as the Museum of Us. Though it has a new name, the museum, which was established in 1915, will still tell stories about human cultural anthropology. This is done through exhibition, lectures, and special events. But there have been some additional changes besides the name. For the price of one $19.99 tickets, visitors will be granted unlimited return visits for a year. This is a groundbreaking new policy to make the museum accessible to the community as well as be more inclusive. The Museum of Us is also auditing items from its collection to determine how they were collected and how they will be presented in exhibitions. Check out all of the changes. The Museum of Us is open Wednesdays through Sundays from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Another museum that recently reopened is the Museum of Photographic Arts. There are currently two exhibitions on view. One is Beginnings Forever. Based on the collections of the Kiyosato Museum of Photographic Arts in Japan. It features works by historic artists made before they were 35 years old, a time it's believed when artists develop expression and individuality. You'll see works from the 20th century as well as post-war photography from Japan. There are also contemporary photos from Kiyosato Museum of Photographic Arts' Young Portfolio Contest and they offer new perspectives and techniques on making pictures. Also on view is Illusion, the Magic of Motion, showing how motion in stills and video evolved over centuries of scientific and artistic exploration. Museum of Photographic Arts has a pay-what-you-wish fee model, and it's open now from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Fridays through Sundays. Though there's still not a lot of live theater happening, there's still plenty of it going on online. And to inspire people to watch some shows, San Diego Performing Arts League has turned its annual San Diego Theater Week into a month-long program. Tickets for certain shows will be offered for $15, $30, and $45. As of now, there are nine shows participating, including the in-person productions at the Flower Fields in Carlsbad. Those are put on through New Village Arts and feature themed shows like Broadway or 60s music every weekend. Other shows include Lit, a family-friendly musical produced by Blind Spot Collective. Lit is about a girl who helps find light in a dark world. Also is Einstein Comes Through, a solo show at North Coast Rep, about an actor who makes a living playing Albert Einstein and how Einstein's theories turn into real drama in the actor's life. And The Mountaintop a reimagining of events the night before the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. That's put on by the American History Theater, the Roustabouts Theater Company, and Teenage Youth Performing Arts Theater Company. Find tickets and additional details about San Diego Theater Month at sandiegotheatermonth.com. The arts may be dark, but we continue to tell artists' stories. Become a subscriber and get unlimited digital access to all of our news wherever and whenever you want it. Don't miss a story, go to sandiegouniontribune.com slash subscribe.